Saturday saw the first boxing match at Yankee Stadium in 30 years, headlining the pride of Puerto Rico, Miguel Cotto, and the Lion of Zion, Yuri Foreman. Over 20,000 fans came out to support their fighters, but many just wanted to be part of the historic night. I'm only here, I'm only here for the event. I'm not here for... I'm here for the event. You know, it, you know, it's the first thing. Last time Ali fought here, I believe. Well, <laughs> I wasn't at the last fight, but it, but it was in 1976. I know when the last fight was, and it's, you know, it's the first fight in the new Yankee Stadium. It's a big deal. Ken Norton and Muhammad Ali was the last guys that fought in here. So, I mean, it, you know, it's a historical event for boxing. You know, uh, I'm sure a lot of people probably show up just to come to, you know, participate in an event like this. You know, it was a well, big event like not everyone. I thought, that, I thought there was a Yankee game going on. <laughs> Most were on Team Kodo, but a loud minority were rooting for Foreman, thanks in part to his unique story. <laughs> how many, how many times do you get a fighter who's trained to be a rabbi? It and seems... he's married to a model, and, he, and he's still going to be a rabbi. Oh, we don't know. Right. We don't know anything about Foreman's Harry. also studying to become a rabbi. Well, do you know all the stories about him coming from Russia, going to Israel, yep. and then coming here to the United States? and uh, slowly evolved into becoming religious. Shomer Shabbat, meaning that he observes the Sabbath. And he's uh, married to a nice girl. He's not his wife. <laughs> she's blonde and she's always skipping rope. <laughs> right, she skips oh, wow. more rope than any woman that I've ever seen. I like her already. As the sun set, Hatikva, the Israeli national anthem, was sung for the very first time in Yankee Stadium. Cotto was controlling the fight from the start, but the night took an unexpected twist when Foreman's knee gave out in the seventh round. And by the ninth round, it was all over for Foreman. Despite the defeat, Foreman's fans were proud to have an Israeli champ to root for. The worst one all last year. They're proud. It's good. For NewYorkPost.com, this is Stephanie Cohen.